we're having some technical difficulties. I have a presentation for you actually. This is uh, what happened for the Morning and Publishers for the last 30 years. But uh, probably in the next two minutes, we might be able to show you what God did for the last 30 years here at the Holy Baptist Church. I don't know if you can uh, hear me at the back. Can you hear me at the back? Amen. Very good. Well, today, we celebrate 30 years of ministry together. Because 30 years ago, a decision was made to move forward with a united vision for the cause of Jesus Christ. For 30 years, Jesus Christ has been our reason for staying in business. Jesus has been touching, loving, fixing, and changing lives in this place. Morning Aid Baptist Church, week after week, months after months, year after year. When people ask me, Pastor, what is really going on in Macau? They need to look no further than our desire to be united in the cause of Jesus Christ. As it revealed in the Word of God. We do not change, we do not attempt actually to change the Word of God, but rather to change ourselves to feed the plan and the purposes of God. We were challenged in the Word of God today, and people often caught them as a way of trusting God when things are tough. And by the way, living in the cow, it's difficult. So I think the title or the theme for today's celebration is very fitting because the title is Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. People, members, young people and adults often call this passage of scriptures. They are the source of comfort for each and every one of us, trusting in the Lord. Now the wisdom in Proverbs, the wisdom of Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 is necessary for every situation and every part of our Christian lives. In verses 5 and 6, you must remember, does this, that this is just one whole sentence. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to, unto thy own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all thy ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct thy paths. When you trust in God with all your heart, we've been doing that for the last 30 years. And look at what happened now. We will continue for the next 30 years to continue to trust in the Lord. And that is in my presentation. So you go after the, after the, 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 the introduction today, you know? So it means that you leave no room for doubt. Why? Because when you come to the God, you're full of doubt, you're full of confusion, you don't know what to do. And the exhortation this morning is trust in the Lord. We believe that what He says, because you know He is always right, and he will never deceive you. God sees the bigger picture and therefore knows what lies ahead. So, eto tayo, we look at this group of people, but we cannot see beyond what will happen tomorrow. Now, the Lord sees that. We may not guarantee of tomorrow, but we can guarantee the Lord that will handle our tomorrows. Amen? Trust in God in every situation. Trust in God in every relationship of your life. Now, trust in God comes naturally when you know Him and how He works. It's hard to trust someone you don't know. Hindi mo kaya hindi magtiwala sa isang tao na hindi mo kilala. Hindi ba? So it is hard to trust someone you don't know and you cannot rely on. Now listen to me, God is trustworthy and faithful. And has proven himself throughout the Bible. When you spend time with scriptures, you will know him intimately. I'm going to spend a lot of time probably during the preaching time about this this morning. But this is just a short introduction of our theme today. Trust.
trust in the Lord with all thy heart. So if I am God, if I'm going to talk to God today, you know what God will tell you now? Trust me. Amen. God expect you that you will trust Him with all your heart. Amen. Not just part of it. When we don't trust Him wholeheartedly, that means we question His abilities. You know, sometimes we question our husbands, our wives. Kasi kulang yung kanina sweldo. Pero ang God, He is always complete. He will always complete what you have started. Amen. My greatest joy as a pastor of the local New Testament Church, the Morning Baptist Church, <coughs> has been seeing the power of God working in your lives. And my own as well. My family, my children, our school, our teachers. Now, during the whole year, this year and last year, we weathered a lot of storms. The truth of the matter is, there are some people in our congregation who have lost their loved ones. Your hearts were broken over the death of a loved one. And by the way, three days ago, what if I remember? His mom passed away. And there were times, probably two weeks ago, two months ago, almost every week, there's some kind of death in our family circle. Now, we had prayed for them for the longest time, and some of you have endured the pain of children who became involved in all sorts of difficulties and troubles. Some of you who have seen your marriages come to an end. Now, you wanted to, you, you wanted that marriage to last and to eternity, but you kind of control the situation. And some of you lost your jobs that you had years through a, don't you, you don't have all of your own. Some of you went through periods of doubt and depressions. Some of you had reversal in your careers. Some of you had dreams for your life that did not quite come to pass. And you realize now, yung mga dreams na yun, at mga goals na yun, ay hindi niya na kaya maabot. Yet you found strength. You found faith in God that has gotten you all through this year for 30 years. You discovered that God meant it when He said it, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. You have found a group of people from Borgate Baptist Church who have put their arms around you and tried to walk with you through your difficult times and through your crisis. We know that it is a church, it is a church, just like our church, but we need to rejoice with those who will rejoice and we will weep with those who weep. And that's what we're doing now in the case of Brother Kenny. Brothers and sisters of the Lord, for 30 years, we have been trusting the Lord with a vision to love each other. And there are a lot of people out there that they need to know about the Lord Jesus Christ. So I will challenge you, brethren, my brothers and sisters of the Lord, I want to challenge you to keep Trusting the Lord for the next 30 years. Amen? Amen. Well, God bless you and happy birthday for the year.